Hey Explorers, Keaton Explorer here, and today I am here to talk about Atlanta festivals and events. So for each month of the year, starting with April, I'm gonna talk about one event, one festival for that month that you can attend. I may mention other festivals or events for each month, but they will not be highlighted. So if you are looking for something to do in May, June, whatever month, you can go down below to the chapters and click on that month so you can go and hear what's happening or what usually happens with festivals and events for that month. But please keep in mind, okay, please keep in mind that festivals and events can change months. So you wanna make sure you look that up for the current year before you just show up thinking that that is the correct date because all this stuff I had to film for the last 12 months of the year. So let's get into today's video about Atlanta festivals and events. And before we do, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and a notification bell. It is free for you to do so and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now for real, let's talk about these Atlanta festivals and events. First off, let me highlight the Atlanta Dog Walk Festival, which takes place at Piedmont Park. It is a free festival and you get to enjoy a lot of different arts and crafts, food, as well as kids activities like this puppet show. Artists from around the country actually set up tents to share with you their photography, their pottery, their jewelry, and so much more that you can buy and take home with you. There's also food trucks available, like Lisa's Crepery, where I got a crepe from last year, which was delicious. And besides the kids park, you can actually go out and sit on the lawn and listen to musical performances. So bring your tent, your towel, your chair, whatever, and enjoy the day. This festival is from April 12th through 14th in 2024, and it is a free, and it is their 88th festival. So start our spring and have fun at the Dogwood Festival. For May, we are back at Piedmont Park for the Atlanta Jazz Festival. The Atlanta Jazz Festival is one of the largest free jazz festivals in the entire country. It is an annual celebration of the music, culture, and art of jazz. Its mission is to expose and entertain a diverse audience of jazz aficionados, young jazz enthusiasts, and aspiring musicians. They have a great lineup this year, which is Memorial Day weekend, May 25th through the 27th of 2024. And actually on Monday, Andre 3000 is pulling out his flute for the jazz festival. So head on over, you can bring your tent, but you have to sit beside, behind a certain area. If you have a tent, bring your chair, bring your, your towel, go to a VIP area if you buy that ticket and enjoy a weekend full of jazz. And also they do have a lot of food trucks as well as vendors to enjoy while you're there. Next up is Juneteenth Atlanta Parade and Music Festival. But first, let's check out the parade. Now that we've enjoyed the parade, let's talk about this Juneteenth Festival. This year in 2024, Juneteenth will be held June 21st through the 23rd, and it will be at Piedmont Park instead of Centennial Olympic Park, which it was last year. It is free to enter, and they have a lot of live performances, various stages, a lot of different activities. Last year, they had this painting activity that we could do for free. They have a lot of different vendors. They may have a corporation giving things away. They have food trucks and just a great time. It is a great time to go out and spend with friends and family to celebrate the Juneteenth holiday. Next up in July is the Attack of the Killer Tomato Festival. Last year it was held at the West Side Provisions District. Later in July, they have not released the dates and information for 2024 yet, so stay tuned. But when you buy a pass to go to this festival, it includes tasting and beverages featuring tomatoes in all type of ways. So you're gonna be full when you leave this festival.
As you taste the food, you can vote for your favorite dishes along the way as there are a variety of different winners and awards given out at the end of the festival. The event is hosted by Georgia Organics and celebrates delicious farmer champion partnership between the organic farmers and the culinary teams who make local ingredients shine. In August, you can check out Grant Park Conservancy Summer Shade Festival. This is a free outdoor festival that celebrates Atlanta's oldest public park. The festival is presented and benefits the Grant Park Conservancy, which is an organization committed to the restoration, maintenance, and beautification of historic Grant Park. As you can see, they have a lot of different um, vendors out here, a lot of different activities, art activities, and of course a water refill station because it's in August. It is really hot here in August. So that's great. They have a lot of free samples of things and just a great time to just walk around and enjoy the park. And as you saw at the beginning, they do have a stage for live performances. So this is great if you just want to go relax in the park for the day and enjoy something free in Atlanta. For 2024, this festival takes place on August 24th and 25th, and it has been in the city for over two decades. For September, we are back in Grant Park for House in the Park. House in the Park is usually the one day, Sunday during Labor Day weekend. They haven't announced it for 2024 just yet but it has been in the same place since I have been going. And it is a wonderful movement. It is a unifying movement through house music. So people usually gather, set up tents, have food, barbecue, whatever at their tents, and then go out onto the dance floor and enjoy the house music, as you can see this young gentleman doing here. But they do have a lot of food trucks available if you do not want to cook or bring your own food. And they do also have a few vendors to shop and enjoy with as well. Now in October, you should check out the Atlanta Mimosa Festival. Last year, it was at the historic 44 Park and they haven't announced this year's date. When you buy a ticket to the festival, it includes bottomless drinks so you can go and try out the different mimosa flavors as you go, as I'm doing here. While you're at the festival, they have a lot of local vendors, which I ended up buying one of these candles and it is still going and it smells really good. You also have a lot of people there enjoying the DJ on stage. There is a silent disco party. There are food vendors, but there's not that many, so the lines can be long. But this is definitely a great thing to check out and have a good time in October. In November, let's go to the Dia de los Muertos Festival at Oakland Cemetery. Last year, this festival was on November 5th, but the actual holiday Dia de los Muertos is celebrated in Mexico on November 1st and 2nd of every year. So you wanna check to see when they're actually gonna hold the festival for 2024 because they have not announced that date yet. The event is free, yes, free 99, and it is organized by the Consulate General of Mexico in Atlanta and Institute of Mexican Culture. During this event, your friends and family can enjoy dancing, music, entertainment, traditional foods, crafts, face painting, and so much more. It's such a good time and seeing all of the altars decorated for the festival is just so amazing. I really enjoyed checking out this festival. If you do go, parking by the cemetery is horrific. Try to take Uber, Lyft, or public transit, but if you do have to drive, you will have to go probably deep in the neighborhoods to park. But this is such a cool event to check out. Of course, you can't get past the Christmas season without a wonderful Christmas market. The Atlanta Chris Kendall Market has been in the city for seven years, and it is a great experience for the magic of the holiday season. And it is kind of like a fusion of traditional German festivities. So, you know, if you go to Europe, you always run into lovely Christmas markets. And this is what you will have here. 
You get wonderful culinary delights at this festival, as well as handcrafted treasures that you could take home to give as gifts. So definitely enjoy some time at the Chris Kendall Market. It is located in Buckhead Village. And so if you go there, you can park at the parking garage at Buckhead Village or find street parking. It is free to enter, but obviously you have to pay for your treats, snacks, and or gifts while you're there. They got all kinds, they got raspberries, they got strawberries in the back. What's this one? Yeah. What's oh that's peach home. Oh I have the vine. Blue vine please. Blue vine coming up? Yeah. For January, we headed to the Atlanta Dessert Festival. I've noticed this festival has taken place at various times throughout the year, but it was nice to have it in January when it's cold and they were able to find a place inside. Um, they were actually supposed to have it outside this past January, but it was unseasonably cold. So when you go here, you can try a lot of small businesses and their wonderful desserts and treats and it was such a good time make sure if you go you have some willpower because there are a lot of different delicious looking items at the dessert festival so it's home of all the things sweet the only and biggest dessert festival in atlanta so you'll find over a hundred of the best dessert and beverage vendors while at this event and it is free to enter but of course you have to pay for your treats Time for the festival of this month, which is Oyster Fest. The Oyster Fest is located in Midtown near the Steamhouse Lounge, and it has been operating for 36 years as of 2024. You can get an oyster bucket or you can go around to the different vendors and get already prepared oysters if you don't want to check them, which I'll talk about in a moment. But you enjoy live music and a good time on a weekend in February. Okay, I am, and I keep looking down because like there's some unstable parts of the sidewalk, but I'm leaving the Oyster Fest. That was an experience having to shop the oysters, and it was such a big basket of oysters. Obviously, you can eat all of them, but it takes so much time. I would not get the basket again. I would just go and like get oysters or food from the booths and like alcohol, whatever. But that was a cool experience. I heard the oysters came from coast of Alabama. I'm not too sure though. Um, a cool experience if you're into seafood and just want a nice little outing for the weekend. Today we are now at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. The St. Patrick's Day Parade is held in Midtown on Peachtree. It has been the longest or one of the longest running events in Atlanta and has been running since 1858. The parade hosts around 750 musicians and dancers. And as you can see, there are bands and performers from around the country, not just Atlanta. You'll see over 2000 participants and about 100 parade units. It is such a good time for friends and family. It's a free event, but just get down early so you can find appropriate parking. It is recommended to take public transit or ride sharing to this event. But if you have to, there is parking at Colony Square as well as near the Art Museum. But this was such a fun time. Like look at the Star Wars, there was the llamas, there was a lot going on in this parade. And this is definitely a great way to celebrate in March and do something in March. All right, explorers, I hope you enjoyed this video, April through March. And I, I picked April because that's really when like outdoor festival activities start to really ramp up in April. So that's why I picked April and it's my birthday month. So why not start with April for the beginning of my 12 month Atlanta festival and events video. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that down below in the comment box, but keep it classy. Um, make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. If you love to support my business even further, you could check out my merchandise shop or my blog to help my small business. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.